Prakash. I am from India and uh, I am one of the member of an NGO delegation uh, called Security Conjure, which is based in Rajasthan. We have used public transport. It has been very useful for us and I have used it for protection of environment as well as to cost itself. So if you had to pay for the transfer, you, you would still use public yeah, transfer? Yeah, I would have definitely used this. Only the, only the media through which I would have reached to see it. I'm Jerry Ann, I'm from Ireland, and I'm here at Cambridge. And I'm using public transport. Would you use public transport if it wasn't for free? I would, but I might use it less. What have you been using the public transport for? Um, everything. So going to the Bella Centre, going to the Kima Forum, getting home, uh, visiting people. I'm from Solomon Islands. My name is Ren Sur. A delegate from Solomon Islands attending COP15. And you have a transport card that the office used to go free around in Copenhagen? I have a card uh, yeah, given to me by the organizers and use that card for transport yeah. to go to the meeting. If you haven't received a card, would you do the public transport anyway? If I don't have a card, I'll still go to the meeting because the meeting is important. I'll still have to attend the meeting. How, how would you go to the meeting? I still use public transport. I don't know how to pay it. My, my. So I'm from France, and I uh, just wanted to mention that uh, uh, the fact that uh, the tra public transportation are free is really important for, for us as a signal for climate change, I would say, and uh, that's a very important thing. That's very important signal. Mm. Yeah. If the yeah. transport hadn't been for free, would you have done the transport anyway? No, I think uh, that's, uh, that's really important for people. You know, public transportation are, are free. That's a very good measure implemented yeah. by Denmark. But it's only free for you. It's not free for the rest of us. We, the rest of Denmark has to pay. That's free for us. Yes. Any, and that's, uh, that could be extended, of course. <laughs> yes, but I'm thinking, would you do it? Would you use public transportation yeah. if it wasn't for free? Well, that's a good question. Uh, I think that's better that it is for free. But uh, the, the important thing is that it is uh, cheap. Please. My name is Tanvir I'm from Pakistan, and I'm the Prophet Teams delegate. And, uh, what are you asking for next? The transport? Free. The this transport for this, because uh, we are using the public transport, this is because of the fastest way to reach somewhere. It's not the matter of the, what you are paying, or, or you are paying, or you are not paying. The best thing is that you have reached on time. My name is Abdul Salam. I come from Bangladesh. I am working with an NGO in Bangladesh. And actually my work area is very much devastating flood and river erosion. What the people are facing every year due to the climate change effect. The people are suffering so much because this vulnerability is increasing and increasing. And the documents we are collecting from here, that could be helpful for us to build our capacity. Yeah. You, you've been using free public transport? Yeah, I am also using the pub, free public transport and that is very much important for us because here regular transport is very expensive but that we are not able to pay for here. So free transport is important. I am Sophia Zuma. I come from Niger. Yes. And I can see you are in a public uh, transportation system. You are in the metro and you go for free. Yes, it's free for us. Yes. Until 19 December. Yes, it's free for us. Would you use public trans uh, transportation if it wasn't free? Yes, it's free. Yeah. But if it, if it would cost you money, would you still use it? <laughs> You're just telling me just what you want. No, it is, yeah. <laughs> no, I think that I would use it. Don't know. Because it's, uh, it's affordable for us. It's very affordable, it's uh, available because everywhere we have station, bus station and the metro station, so I don't think that this will be a problem to use it. No, you would use it anyway. Yes, anyway. <laughs> I'm Alberto Caram Antonio. I'm a judge of the Environmental Court of the State of the Amazon in Brazil. I came here as a delegate from the city of Manaus in the Amazon state which is so far the most well-preserved state in Brazil. We have 98% of our forest intact, by the way. Uh, I'm utilizing your public transportation. 
uh, and I, I, the way I see it, my perception, my personal perception is, is very accessible, very easy for us foreigners to utilize. So, in a way, I believe you are in a very well-structured mm. system of public transportation. But you do ride for free. We have to pay. Would you use public transport if it was, if you have to pay under this car? don't think it would be very easy to do so. Uh, some rates probably are very expensive, but we've been offered to utilize as free tickets in order to have uh, full access to be there every day. I don't think it would be easy, though, if we had to pay. Is that okay? Yeah. Thank you.